A collection of tools from the Emery Boatyard was donated to the Sheringham Museum when the boat building firm closed in the 1980s. Serena and Freya McMillan met with Mike Emery to find out how these old tools were used. Everything was done by hand in there until 1946, after the war, they did have an electric drill, but prior to that, everything was done by hand. A very important tool in boat building is this. It's called an adze. The stem and the stern post would be sawn out by hand, and that's oak, and it would be shaped up and smoothed out with an adze, which is a tool that you can chop the wood like this, you see, and shape it. So that is an adze, and that's a very important part of boat building. These would be what they drilled the holes with, what's known as an auger. But it was done by turning it through the wood to drill a hole. Oh, I see here we've got the copper nails that are used for fixing the roofs. Let me show you. I would think these smaller ones would be for fixing the planking. Once they lap the planking, they would fix them together. Okay, and here we've got larger ones which would be to fix the ribs in, bigger nails you see. Hole would be drilled through the planking, through the rib, nail put in, snipped off and then burred over the washer typing, called a rove. You can see it's a square shaped nail, it's not like a lot of nails round, it's square because it would be stronger that way wouldn't pivot in the, in the wood. Right, I'm just going to show you this plane, it's a very large jack plane it's called, and my father told me that this actually belonged to Lewis Buffalo Emery, which was his plane. So that is really original. Okay. Haven't got the rough of wood off, they will come down a little smoothing plane. A little plane like this, we just smooth the wood smaller. Quite a difference in size, isn't it? Now this was used in the boat house. It's a movable bench, so as you can see, it's on wheels. It can be wheeled around the boat with the vice on it. So you always had a, a vice near you when you were working. Now this one came from Sheringham Beach. It was washed up. This is the story I was told by my father. It was washed up on Sheringham Beach and Lewis Buffalo went down to the beach and carried this up on his back. Now, can you believe that? You can hardly move it. <laughs> so I'll just show you now one of the, a, quite a, a tool that was used very often in boat building. It's called a draw knife. When the ribs were notched out, they would saw a mark where each plank was, and they would use this draw knife to draw into the, the saw cut, which would then form a notch, which would notch over the planks of the boat. This was also used for oar making, making oars. We'd use a draw knife, start off with a, an oar would start off with a square piece of timber, about like four by four or something like that. So it was quite a useful tool in boat building. You can see the collection of the Emery Boat Building tools on display at the Sheringham Museum.